So I first encountered the reflection filter working with Matt Serletic, I think, in L.A. Um, and he's very particular about having, like, the deadest, least amount of space surrounding the vocal in a recording that you can possibly have. Uh, his theory is that, and, and if, you, if you use, like, video terminology, the blacker the background of the vocal, the more it can stand out in the mix. And I found that to be ultimately very true. Um, we did a Joe Cocker record and we did uh, a Matchbox 20 record and then we did a, a record with a band unfortunately who was broken up and the record never came out. But all three of those records we used the reflection filter and the vocal was so like in your face and so like you could, you, it just it leapt out of the speakers to me because of that extra black background. Well, recently I've gotten the space filter, the new version of it, and it's it's more robust. Uh, the clamps are, are better. I don't lose the parts, which is kind of, you know, a great thing to start with. Uh, and I have a booth here at my studio in Nashville, and it's not the greatest sounding room in the world. So whenever I do vocals in there, it's like, you know, that reflect the space filter goes up immediately. I've used it on guitar amps. I've used it on kick drum when I'm when I'm in like a a big crappy sounding room. Um, sometimes you need to put it uh, behind the outside mic on the kick drum and it, it helped immensely again there. But you I mean you could use it on anything that you need more isolation on. If you want to get rid of room tone in your sound, just stick it up there. <laughs>